So uh, I think that you can see in terms of the values that people adopt, in terms of the beliefs that they hold, in terms of the important decisions that they make, um, people tend to herd and frequently this can lead to very inefficient results. In 2007 and 2008, uh, the world experienced a financial meltdown. And what we discovered in, um, most, disproportionately in New York, but all over the world, is that all of the major investment banks were investing in these mortgage-backed securities. Um, all of these mortgage-backed securities essentially uh, lost uh, all or nearly all of their value. And the question is, why did Lehman Brothers invest in these mortgage-backed securities? Because that's what Citibank was doing, and that was what Goldman Sachs was doing, and that was what J.P. Morgan was doing. So everybody was getting protection from the herd because I'm not going to be in trouble if everybody else is doing it. And everybody else assumed that all the other people were smart. Um, and actually, nobody was smart. Nobody did the appropriate due diligence. Nobody was willing to stand out for the crowd. Each was getting a little bit of benefit because they were getting an extra 2% return on their money. In exchange for that, they lost all their money and eventually almost brought down the world financial system. And the United States and Europe and uh, even China are still suffering from the aftermaths of this particular event. If you talk about the stupidity of herds, you can also say there is a kind of wisdom in crowds. Well, the original, there's a very famous book by a man named Suryaki who wrote about the wisdom of crowds. And in some things, there's more wisdom, but we're poor at extracting it. Uh, many people will want to be um, sort of not shown up as being ignorant. So if I ask you, <clears throat> here's a question that I frequently ask, is the population of Turkey more or uh, less than 100 million people? When I ask that uh, question at my faculty, um, a significant majority voted for more than 100 million people. It's actually around 80 million people. The reason was the first few people who put up their hands put up their hands for more than 100 million. And then everybody sort of said, well, I don't really know the population of Turkey, so I'll put up my hand to go along with that. If we had started off to sort of say, who knows the population of Turkey, who's fairly confident about the population of Turkey, <clears throat> then we would have gotten the wisdom of crowds because then we would have had those people voting first. So the question is, how do you sort of separate people out of the herd and have the most knowledgeable people operate as uh, the leader? Um, it's also true vis-a-vis -vis values. I'm going to ask a question today. I have no idea what the answer is. Um, I'm going to ask, say, we're all familiar with uh, the recent experiences with the war between Israel and Hamas. Um, do you assign primary responsibility to Israel? primary responsibility to Hamas, or do you think that there's plenty of blame and they're roughly comparably responsible? Um, I suspect that there will be a disproportion one way or another, <clears throat> and that if I had told some people as stooges to vote the other way at the beginning and put their hands up quickly, um, I would get a tipping, that I could get more people to blame Hamas or more people to blame Israel, because on a very delicate subject, you don't like to uh, be in the minority. So to some extent, you want to appear smart. To some extent, you want to appear knowledgeable. To some extent, you want to appear that your values aren't so dramatically different from those of the other people in the room.